Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I am Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to talk about postdoctoral fellowships in Israel. And most of you will know that Israel is one of the technological stars as far as different countries are concerned. And there is a lot of activity in the science and technology domains as well as other domains of scholarship in the different Israeli universities. So I actually know several colleagues of mine who went to Israel to do postdoc and so let's discuss about this. Now essentially as far as Israeli postdocs are concerned, most of the people who get this postdoc have got it by writing emails to different professors in their research area and what happens is that this professor then tells them to write a research proposal. They essentially write a research proposal and submit it to the professor and to the university and then the university essentially gives them this postdoctoral fellowship. So essentially if we look at it, these fellowships are all being funded somehow by the Israeli government or the Israeli university system. There is a possibility to get fellowships in all kinds of fields, for example, engineering, physics, philosophy, psychology and all such fields. You can get these fellowships in teaching or non-teaching tracks. And essentially these fellowships are all linked or motivated by the Council of Higher Education in Israel. Essentially this body used to previously focus mostly on interaction with US and the European Union countries. But lately it has been also focused on getting research fellows from countries such as India, China and some more emerging powers. So let's see what you have to do about this fellowship in terms of the study program. So essentially you work under the supervision of the professor at a university and you are part of a research group. So essentially you need to have a PhD, you need to be well versed in the English language. So essentially if you are going to do research, the English language is good enough or sufficient for doing your fellowship. However, if you are applying for a teaching type of position, you need to know Hebrew. So that may be a complicacy for people who do not know this language. Now the typical duration of an Israeli postdoc is two to three years and you need to have a PhD and you should apply within three to five years of the PhD, typically three years being a good number and you should complete your postdoctoral work within seven years of your PhD. So essentially there are implicit age limits in this process but it's not really limiting your age by a number, it's more or less telling you when you should have done a PhD and at the end of seven years after your PhD you essentially cease to be a typical postdoctoral candidate. Now what is done is that there is a committee including the rector of the university and various professors from different academic department and then these people are going to peruse your CV very carefully. They are going to look at your research proposal. They are going to look at your background. They are going to look at the importance of the problem and the impact of the problem as far as the field is concerned and then they are going to decide whether you should be given the postdoctoral fellowship or not. Now if we look at the stipends, the typical stipend for a postdoc in Israel is about 6,000 shekels and it ranges from 5,400 to 10,000 shekels. So these of course bounds will be dependent on the particular field you are applying in, the marketability of the field and so on. So most of these postdoctoral positions are actually funded by the department or the university but there are some bodies which also can help you. There is the Lady Davis Fellowship, there is the Golda Meir Fellowship, there is the Azriel Foundation and also many people come to Israel for postdoc under the Fulbright Fellowship. So these are people who are coming from US. Now let's look at some of the academic institutions where you can apply. So the one I know most well is the Technion, which is the Israel Institute of Technology in Haifa. There is also Hebrew University of Jerusalem, there is the Tel Aviv University, there is the Ben Gurion University of the Negev, University of Haifa and the well-known Weizmann Institute of Science. So beside this there are some other universities also but I think these are some of the more popular universities as far as postdoctoral position is concerned. Now there is a very good web page or website you can go to and that is postdoc israel.com and this gives you a lot of information about the various postdocs which are out there currently. So as you know 
Postdocs are often advertised as jobs. So essentially there are professors and PIs who have obtained funding on a certain discipline. And so what happens is that these guys then put out an ad as the people they are looking for, and then these people can apply for these positions and get the postdoc. So essentially, as far as Israel is concerned, it's a good place to do a postdoc. It has a pretty salubrious climate, and you can have a good time there when you are doing the postdoc. Do remember, however, that the Israelis are very serious and tough people in terms of talking. So if you are somebody who is thinking about a very laid back lifestyle, then probably this is not the right country for you. The expectation among Israeli professors and researchers is that you will perform at a very high level. You will publish several papers in high impact journals in some of the top journals of the world. And also generally Israeli people are very direct in their communication style. So if you are making a presentation, if you are talking to your postdoc supervisor, be sure that they are going to have various harsh comments to give you on your work. So again, remember this is professional, it's not personal. That's just the style. And so once you are used to it, you will find that you can actually learn a lot from an Israeli postdoc. So that was my take on the Israeli postdoctoral positions. And I hope you benefit from this video and this increases your domain as far as applications to postdoctoral positions are concerned. And I'll see you in a video sometime soon. See you then.